The biggest focus, uh, obviously, is first of all, from a personal point of view, is I had to get culturally adjusted. You know, after being somewhere else for 20 years and coming over and moving from one very strong culture to a new stronger culture, I've had to learn that. That's, that's clear. But I think the really interesting part about it is arriving when I did and watching how uh, the brand is transitioning, how it is being transitioned. And uh, that's been a bit of a challenge for everybody. And I don't mean that in a negative point of view. It's simply that, you know, there's been a way of doing business for goodness knows how many years. Uh, and the reality of it is that uh, in, in the premium segment, the business model is different uh, to the um, more middle mass market segment. And uh, managing that transition is, is the big challenge at the moment. It'll go on for a while yet, um, but I think the really important thing is it's been positive experience from all sides. It's a learning experience from all sides. We have a long way to go, but the vision is shared by everybody in the company. The really big opportunity is to take the brand and really take it head to head with Mercedes, BMW and Audi. Infinity has so much potential, the brand has a very, very good reputation, it's well founded, uh, but from my perspective uh, it has been, um, it still has significant opportunity. But the, the fundamentals of the brand, uh, the people that are behind it, the philosophy that's behind it, the infrastructure that's behind it, the dealers that are behind it are really, really solid. Well, New York is one of the premier uh, retail motor shows in the United States. So it's a really important platform for uh, communicating what the brand stands for. And the opportunity that that presents is for us to launch basically two new models or two changes in the Infinity uh, brand. The first one you see over my shoulder here is the new Q70L. And uh, you can see from that that uh, there's a revised front end and revised rear end and you'll see there that it's picking up that very definitive Infinity design language, the, the treatment of the lights, the LED lights, the new grille and so on. Then what you may not see quite so well is that car has an added six inches uh, in the floor pan at the rear. Uh, so hence the L, long wheelbase, and it is a real limousine. I mean a, a limousine uh, on the outside but with a very sporting heart on the inside. But is really nice about it is you can sit in the back of that and you can cross your legs is the best way to put it. There's so much room in it. QX80, again it's a, it's a facelift, next generation. There's a, a new grille, new treatment on the, on the, uh, the lights and the, the fog lights and a change in the, in the face of the, of the car. Uh, so a refresh. But what is really uh, interesting on that car is, is the QX Limited. We have quilted interior trims for the seats and the doors. Uh, we have burl timber in it. Uh, we have new looks in the wheels and the grille, so a whole elevated treatment uh, in, terms of, of, uh, in terms of luxury. Building a luxury brand is not a revolutionary process, it's an evolutionary process. Uh, and this is part of that evolution for Infinity. We take one step at a time uh, and we're building momentum. And uh, it's all part of that process. The next really, really big step for us comes with the launch of the Q30 at the end of uh, 2015. Uh, and uh, what you're seeing now is a consolidation of the segments that we're in. At the moment, we're only eight uh, models within the, within the product range. By the time we get to 2020, we're going to be somewhere 11, 12 products. And we're going to be entering the small crossover segment that'll come with the Q30. We've seen a little bit of a, of a, a touch of that with the, with the concept car we showed at Detroit. But we're also going to be moving to the high end and getting into those areas that's traditionally dominated by Mercedes and BMW, the S-Class, the 7 Series, the aspirational element of the market. And certainly we're going to be anchoring the brand uh, with a halo car. So it's all part of a, a mid to long term product strategy. It really is exciting. And I think uh, that car says a lot about the mindset and the attitude and the philosophy infinity. Very young-minded. It's a good indication of, of what one can expect in terms of the excitement and the positioning of the brand. It's a good indication of uh, you know, how we see the brand expanding because you know, behind all of that is a clear indication there's the intention to pre produce a performance arm within the Infinity brand which is part of the success formula. You know you see it with Mercedes with AMG, you see it BMW with M. Uh, the old Rouge I think is just the, 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 the point of a of a long spear tip that we're going to be throwing into the market. Very exciting times.